What is up guys, Catastrophic here, and today we are talking about medals. That's right, we're talking about the Animal Kingdom Pirates medals. So, that's a mouthful. <laughs> so today we're going to talk about these medals, if they're worth it, and we will see, you know, we're just going to see best sets, well, you know, best medals to run with these two, or to pair with them, and what kind of characters you would put them on. Without further ado, let's jump into it and just start talking about the uh, the medals. We'll start with the Drought Medal. And this is the easiest one to grind up because you're going to get its fragments a lot faster. And it uses less fragments to craft it. While this one uses this one uses 10, while the Plague uses 25. So we're going to look at this Drought Medal real quick. Unique, a unique trait. When in the area around your tr captured treasure, increase damage dealt by 3%. It's a good trait, in my opinion. Um, it's a small amount of damage increase, but it is useful. Yeah, every little bit counts. Um, we're going to look at the tags. Well, no, let's look at the rare, oh, the extra traits now. So, looking at, we're going to look at trait two and three that's the ones that matter because in trait one you do not get any higher than uh, two star in trait three we have the goods all right well trait two we got a one point you know basically 1.6 percent chance for a you know a, t a three star attack increase a 2.4 percent ch chance for a three star defense increase and a two percent chance for a three star crit increase and for the th uh, trait three a 8.7 percent chance for an a three star attack increase 13.6 percent chance for a three star defense increase and 11.1 percent chance for a three star crit increase so this uh this metal here is very heavily in favor of defense you can get attack ones but it's really heavily in favor of defense so honestly you really want to grind it out for the defense traits if you're really wanting to uh not invest too much in to uh like your uh diamonds and stuff like that so looking at the tags the both these metals no 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 we'll look at this one first then we'll look at the tags okay that's what we'll do now the plague metal um, when your strength is more than 70%, boost the cooldown reduction speed of skill 2 by 13%. So as long as your HP is higher than 70%, you're going to getting a 13% reduction in your uh, skill 2 cooldown, which is great. Looking at the rates for trait 2, we got 0.9% chance for a 3 star attack and another... 6% chance for an even higher 3 star attack boost. Um, the defense, same way, 1.3 for a uh, for a 3 star defense and a point, basically 0.9% chance for even higher defense boost. 1.1 for 3 star crit and a one and a point eight for even higher uh, 3 star crit. Now in trait three. Um, even it's the same difference, you know, um, you got a good chance of getting these traits here, uh, 4.1 for a three star attack, 3% uh, percent chance for a even higher, 14% attack increase, 6.5% percent chance for a 12% defense increase, and a 4.4 for a 14% uh, defense per increase, a 5.2 three percent chance for a 12 percent crit increase and then a 3.8 percent chance for a 14 percent increase so looking at these medals these crits don't worry about them they're not important if you get medals that have the three star crit uh increase you can do one of two things with them you can either just transfer them to another trait to have as a well, uh, metal to a spare metal just to have them to make a spare nine star uh metal that you would just throw onto a support character or 
you transfer them out for metal, uh, the metal exchange. You know, other than that, metal points. Yeah, that's what it's called. Other than that, in this one, you could go either way in this. Um, it's more heavily favored, again, in the defense. So, but the attack is more forgiving in this, in this one for sure. Um, my goal, honestly, is getting, um, uh, two, uh, sets of each metal, three, uh, nine stars and attack on, uh, one set and three star oh nine stars in defense on the other set so that's going to be my goals for both of these medals that way i have flexibility with them uh looking at the tags we got land of wano which gives a uh, 14 percent cooldown reduction for skill one animal kingdom pirates which gives a 14 percent skill two cooldown reduction lead performer which gives you a 14 percent cap uh, speed capture and Zoan, which gives you a 7% cooldown reduction speed and dodge. All great traits. And I'm only going with uh, mentioning the uh, pair effect because I'm looking at these as a pair. Now, when I'm looking at these medals, what I'm thinking to myself is Defender. Personally, I feel like Defender is a great way to go for this because this character here, get well, this medal here gives you a increase in the damage if, of your... Uh, Increasing damage when you're in your captured treasure. So we usually when you're in your captured treasure, you are a defender, and that's where you want to stay because you're getting an attack boost when you're uh, staying there defending it. Some get an attack boost while staying at their treasure point. Some get uh, defense boosts when they're at their treasure point. So I feel like you want this on a defender type character. You could run these on attackers because this could benefit multiple kinds of characters. Um, I could run both of these on my Gear 4 Luffy when I get these mechs out because I can still defend as an attacker. As a runner, I don't see these as being beneficiary because you really... I don't feel like you should even try defending as a uh, runner. If it's the end of the game, it's crunch time, then sure. If it's up to you to defend the point defend the points but if it's not if you're able to capture points to you know seal the deal then go for that this is there's much better medals that would go on runners these should not go on runners in my opinion um they should be mainly defenders or on a, an attacker if you want that's just my personal opinion you know <laughs> so don't take it as set in stone like it's the uh, uh like it's an, a, com a commandment all right so anyways yeah this is a uh, that's my ideas on it on who you'd want to use these with now you would want for a three or six star character you would definitely want a third pair for it the best one will be the kato metal which gives you a 100 well when you're receiving damage from an enemy 100 percent chance to reduce the cooldown time of skill one by two percent which i don't make sense Mm, I don't know. The wording's weird uh, to me, but every time you get hit, it's going to reduce your uh, cooldown timer on your skill 2 by 2%. Two, 2%. It has the Land of Wano tag the, and the uh, Animal Kingdom Pirates tag, which is going to give you the 20% on the skill 1 reduction and the 20% on the skill 2 reduction. So that's going to be great for your skills, especially if you're running... Yeah, you can run these on Kaido for sure. Definitely you can run these on Kaido because his skills are amazing. And the Kaido, he really is a monster. This one, really heavy in the HP or the uh, well, in the defense. So what you'd want to do, if you run it with this Kaido medal, this Kaido medal, you'd have it in HP or defense. Your choice, personally. I would probably go with, uh, you know, it really depends on the character you're using. For Kaido, you'd probably just, I don't know. I think you can go either or on Kato. I've not used Kato personally because I don't have him, but you go either or on it. But you'd want to max those out, you know, just three traits with three star, the HP or defense. And then for the other two medals, you want maxed out attack in each one, all attack. But if you do not have Kato like me, there is an alternative, which is going to be the Hawkins medal, which gives you a, when using skill two, reduce the cooldown reduction of skill one by 3%. Again, really solid effect. 
And I honestly do think it's going to be useful for either a defender or attacker, for sure. Um, land of he gives you land of land of Wano if I can talk, and the uh, Animal Kingdom Pirates. So those to go, get boosted 20% cooldown reduction on your skills. So you're got cooldown reduction on your skills from the tags and from the unique traits from your uh, characters or your medals. Now this one is high, heavily in favor of attack and defense. So if you want, you could go all attack on this. If you could, like, if you could not secure all attack or all defense, you know, not start on one of these medals, you can make up with it for it with this metal right here and um, like say let's say you're able to get three a, a nine star defense plague metal and a nine star attack um, drought metal uh, but was not able to secure a three uh, a nine star attack plague metal you could go three well nine star attack uh, with this metal instead to substitute that so honestly you could go I you definitely want to go with this set uh, two metals all attack and then one that's going to be all defense if you're a more aggressive player which honestly I feel like the more attack you dump into a character the better off you're going to be or if you want to make a character as bulky as possible do two of these three star met all these metals with non-star defense traits or well, yeah and one of the medals with uh, non-star attack traits. I honestly think these medals are quite worth it for anyone who is uh, playing and grinding out medals. I am personally grinding them out. We'll look at mine, the ones that I've gotten so far. Oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, well, let's go to inventory. And we are just going to filter this out to the events only, which I've got several being worked on. That, that's trash, <laughs> that's trash. Um, that's also trash so far. My goal, honestly, is to at least secure seven star or higher medals. So anyways, here's the ones I got for sure that I'm working on that's gonna be possible keepers. I got this seven star drought medal, working on getting the tags on it. Um, then I also have this eight star defense medal on him, uh, if I get one more three-star defense trait, I'm done with this medal. I'm happy, and uh, you know I'll be content as long as I can get the plague medal to uh, nine stars, eight to nine stars with uh, uh, attack. Then I'm going to definitely be working on the Hawkins medal, but just for uh, future characters. But yeah, this one has a three-star crit on it. That I'm not. I'm just saving that to transfer. I'm transferring any extra. Tra uh, um. Metals into it just so I can get the uh, the uh, missions done. For, that's it. That's the only reason. So that's all I'm doing with this. Is this is fodder. This is the way I'm going to do it. And <laughs> look there. And as I do that, I'm going to get more missions done for the event, which is what I'm working on. Uh, yeah, I do believe that's about all there is to say about these medals. They are really good medals. Grind them out if you want them. Uh, I, you know, it's all based on your personal preference. I think they're worth it and that you should have them. Because once they're gone, they're gone. You're not going to get them again. And there's going to, going to be plenty of you know, uh, Animal Kingdom Pirates in the future. I honestly think that the next free-to-play character um, is going to be one of these those pirates as well. That's a personal opinion of mine. But anyways, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, if this was helpful in any way, go ahead and smash that thumbs up down below. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed for more content coming your way. And I'll see you all in the next video.